Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much you could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like I share videos, news updates. You have seven days to vacate Southwest Forest. Ebo Hotels, Fulani Hitchman. Now, Sunday day, properly known as Eboho, Sunday Boho. Sunday Boho has issued seven day ultimatum to Fulani Hitchman in the Southwest. Seven day ultimatum to vacate Southwest Forest. As well, he urged the security agencies to prosecute the the headers responsible for recent attacks on farmers in Iwerile, Iwerile is in Oyo State, and several other communities in in Ogun State. In a statement, Ibohe released, he said, "There is the need for Yoruba farmers to be protected." And also Nigerians to be protected against the attacks of these Fulani henchmen. Yes. He called upon the police department of state security services, DSS, and civil defense, including the Nigerian army, to address the security breaches promptly. Promptly. Said now, now, address it now. Expressing his concerns about the resurgence of farmer killings, especially considering the nation's ongoing challenges, he home said security agencies should thoroughly investigate incidents like the ambush and clean of a motor security car operatives in the way he emphasized the importance of holding the corporates accountable now he said that the federal government under Bolatinibu should ensure the safety of lives and properties particularly farmers yes that's what the boy is saying now what are we not talking about what we're saying is this in nigeria today the headsmen, they are terrorizing the southwest. And the man who is the president of Nigeria is from that south, southwest. He's a Yoruba man. So, and the terrorist headsmen terrorizing his own people. An agitator for a Yoruba, Yoruba nation, Iboho, is now is the person defending Yoruba people. He wants to become president of Nigeria. That's why he has been forced to efforts by the people in Yoruba land who are agitating for freedom. That Nigeria should be you know, there should be a, a, a call for a sovereign national conference where people will come and say, we are tired or we want to stay. If people come from the components or from the nationalities, Nigeria has over 300 ethnic groups. All of them should come and they gather and they say, look, this is what we want. This country has been on for almost 100 years and counting. Yes. 100 years and counting since 1914 the amalgamation 1914 the amalgamation by lord frederick lugard yes and so it has been existing and nigeria has to establish itself by asking pertinent questions about unity yes about the foundation of the country so that is the point re-establishment whether we want to stay as a country and that is very important. Sovereign national conference. Many Yoruba agitators have been calling for this. Where the call for referendum is heightened in the southeast, in the Biafra land. The call for sovereign, sovereign national conference has been on in Yoruba land. But people like Tiribo said no. The unity of Nigeria is non-negotiable because you want to govern at all costs. Yes, and now full any terrorist hitmen are trusting his people. And it's keeping quiet. You see, and the boy is saying, seven days vacate the, 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 the forest of the southwest. Vacate. Because they are causing problems. They are killing people there. Farmers and everything. So, and that's what Pai Ademaji have said. Pai Ademaji Adem just said it. He said that Wolo told him that the Biafrans and the Yorubas are bearing the heavy burden of the Fulanis. So if you allow the Biafrans to go, and it will remain the Udu Duwas. That's the, the, if you allow the Biafans to go, and the Udu Duwas will remain. So the only, only the Udu Duwas will be bearing the brunt of the Fulani Hesman. Yes, the Yorubas and the Biafans bearing the burden of the Fulani Hesman. So don't allow Biafans to go, because they will bear the burden alone. But people like uh, Inopaya Debanjo have been calling for a sovereign national conference. Yes. 
and there are them notable individuals in Yoruba land has been calling for for Yoruba nation to be on their own and so on. what are we talking about terrible things that will become they will be the last president or of of of, of Nigeria nowhere if the Biafans goes their own way and Yoruba stays let's see another Fulani will come and when he comes he will deal with the Yorubas the way the Fulanis, the Yorubas are doing today. Buhari did it for eight years. And that is what the, Fulani, the Yorubas are doing today. The Yorubanized the economy was seen today. The heads of security agencies, Yorubas. So the Fulani, because uh, it, that, uh, after Yoruba, they will hand it over to North. And once it's go to the North, the Fulani will use the upper hand to collect it. So Ndebo, Nde Nasav, Fulani people. So, on I go see him, I have told you guys, come back home, let's chat a new course for Biafrans. He said, no, you are a Nigerian. After Tinubu, who will rule? Ibo man will rule, right? Power will go to the north. They will rule for eight years. Tinubu will rule eight years. So, with this calculation they are doing, People want to get power again to get up to 20 years in Nigeria. So, the present politicians who have been working hard to sub, 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 subdue the Igbo man because you want to become the president. Subdue the Igbo man by obstructing and frustrating agitation for referendum. But you have failed woefully. The agitation is getting momentum. It's still on the high tone. So, those people who have been thinking that they rule Nigeria from the uh, from Ibo land, 20 years, add 20 years to your own age, how many years? Sorry, no. they have dribbled you, I'm twisted you guys. Long time ago you have been warned not to follow these people, they are treacherous, you refuse. So Ibo Ho is sounding his own, he said look, vacate, southwest forest, Tribu said his governor, their people are killing, they are killing his people. In the southwest, full and still is still rising. The southwest, but is giving fresh quick notice to them. So let's see how it goes. Yes, because Buhari Tinubu is serving full and illegals. They gave him power. Yes, I'm sure they don't want to do anything. All the only thing he's doing is to make sure that the economy is urbanized, that the heads of security agencies are his own people. So Ibuho is calling on his own people because they are his people. DSS. The army, everything they are Yorubas. The police they are Yorubas. So Ibo should simply tell his people, not uh, the SS, the army. Tell Yoruba people to sack Fulani Hesmen. They should engage with them, fight them, and chase them out. Not they are calling for the SS. Call your brothers, they are the ones in charge of the army now. Defense, everything, Yoruba man is in charge. So let them send them packing from the southwest forest. All the Yorubas that are in the army.